Once the fabric is cut to the required size, attach the bottom bar. First use the fabric creasing tool and then a forming tool to form the fabric into the bottom rail. Then we'll use a piece of seven millimeter locking tape and we'll drag that through the fabric to hold it in position. Take the fabric out from the slot, turn it over away from you, tuck it back in again, repeat the same process. Trim off any excess fabric and then trim the excess locking tape. Insert the end caps and the bottom bar is now finished. Working on the back, we're going to mark out to the predetermined mid-rail positions. The panel sizes will be determined by the calculation made for the drop and the number of panels required. Now connect the two marks on either side of the fabric and draw a line across between the two. We're going to now cut the fabric to the exact drop of the blind. This is done with a calculation which is the blind size drop plus 10 millimeters per individual bar plus 16. We're going to turn the fabric again and then we're going to fold it on each mark on the back of the fabric. We'll take a three millimeter insert and put it along the crease line. Then using the insertion tool on the end of the H bar, we'll wrap that around the three millimeter rod. This now retains the fabric onto the rod. Repeat this for all the rest of the divisional bars. On the top of the fabric, we're gonna use a 16 millimeter aluminum strip, which is going to connect the fabric to the cassette itself. We're gonna take the brackets, insert them into the cassette and secure with the self-tapping screws. Take the top of the fabric, fold it over the top of the aluminum slatting and slide it into the slot in the front of the cassette. Cut the band 200 millimeters longer than the blind size drop. On the bottom of the band, turn up a 25 millimeter pocket and secure with double-sided tape. On the top edge of the band, stick a piece of seven millimeter self-adhesive locking tape across the top of the band. Fold the locking tape and slide it into the tube. Position the band 75 mil in from each end of the tube. Insert the motor and idle end. And fix the tube into the cassette. Slide the band guides into the H rails and thread the bands through the band guides. Use a 5mm locking rod into the pocket on the bottom of the band to secure the H rail onto the bottom of each band. Insert the end caps into the end of each H rail. Gather up the blind and hang on the hoist for final setting. Insert the band guide locking buttons and end caps into the H rails. Clip on the end caps onto the ends of the cassette. Test the blind operation and set the motor limits. Finally, check the blind from the front, ensure that the blind runs up square and gathers correctly. And that is your Roman assembly completed.